Hi there, this is Shelly Weir, President and CEO of the Florida Institute of CPAs, and welcome to our next CEO Conversations. I am thrilled to be joined today by Adam DeGrain from Anthem. We're going to talk a little bit about what Anthem does, but today's topic is how to leverage digital tools to help firms and um, our members across the state be able to better market your goods and services. So what, uh, what an amazing topic for today's time. I know that a lot of our members are going to have a lot of value in this, Adam. So thank you so much for joining us today. Glad, glad to be here. Awesome. Well, let me first just read your very impressive bio, and then we'll we'll dive right into some questions. But Adam DeGrade is a seasoned um, veteran internet marketer, software designer, and music producer as well. I can't wait to hear about that, Adam. Having built four successful businesses serving many different verticals, Adam is among the elite few who can claim that they have served over 4,200 small businesses and built companies with enterprise values in excess of $250 million. Adam right. is the founder and CEO of Anthem Business Software, which is a complete CRM marketing platform designed to help small businesses compete and win against their big box competitors. Adam is truly an entrepreneur, sales and motivational speaker, and an expert in digital marketing. Adam, again, is joining us today to talk to a little bit about how CPAs can leverage digital tools yep. to effectively market their services and communicate with their client base. Adam, thank you again so much for joining us. And where are you calling in from, by the way? Uh, this is my home office. I usually have a studio, but it's I, I wasn't sure if I should do it in the studio because it's all music. I've got like 15 guitars. Oh drums uh it's like a recording studio I but it's it. where i do my podcast david versus goliath and uh but you know i figured this would be a little bit more just chill i love it i love it well next time we'll have to we'll set up one for the music studio you can give us a few lessons if that works That's right. That's good <laughs> awesome well let's first just start you know obviously marketing and communications are critical to the success of so many businesses, the CPA profession is certainly not unique there. Um, we're no exception. Increasingly, more and more outreach efforts are taking place in the digital space, whether we like it or not, right? So let's talk about digital marketing. When I say digital marketing, what does that mean to you? And, and what does that really encompass from your view? I, I think a lot of people think about it as a few different things. So they'll either think about it as a website. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll think about it as social media. They'll think about it as SEO. They'll think about it as, you know, video, TikTok, YouTube. First of all, it's exhausting. Even somebody who does it, I hate it, truth be told, um, the amount of places you have to be. But way I really look at it and the way I've been successful over the years and helping other businesses look at it is it's kind of like your business is singing a song, right? Mm -hmm. So if you ever been to a concert before, Shelly, Mm -hmm. And you get there and the drummer starts playing the drums. It sounds awesome. The bass players starts to groove. The guitar players rolling it. Maybe some horns are even thrown in or whatever. And that singer comes up to the mic and the singer sings off key. It's a massive problem because yeah. it creates disconnection and a disunity in sound. And therefore the whole starts to collapse. Mm -hmm. The biggest mistake small businesses make is that they think one part of digital marketing is the secret mm. and they ignore other parts that they think are not the secret and it's like that band who's playing awesome and then all of a sudden falls on their face so i found that you know whether you're looking at seo which is search engine optimization website you know social media as many social channels as you possibly can be on plus if you have a personality being yourself on camera and being yourself on voice is helpful. If you don't have a personality, find somebody who does have a personality and put them in that place and then sing your best song, right? Sure. And, and that was really the concept behind when I started Anthem. It was like, I've been working with so many small businesses. I've seen so many leaders, you know, reject parts of things that they thought didn't work. I'll give you a, a little example. Um, I was doing a, doing a speech one time on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And this guy, this insurance agent, raised his hand and he goes, you can't make money on Facebook. I don't believe it. Okay. And I, and I said to him, I said, you know what, sir? You're 100% right. You, my friend, 
are never in danger of making any money on Facebook, <laughs> ever. So I said, anybody in this room compete with him? And a few hands went up. I said, go attack him on Facebook because he won't be there. <laughs> and it, it's one of those things where it's like belief, I think, is the start of it, right? It comes down to, do you believe that you should have a holistic digital marketing strategy for your CPA firm? Do you believe that you can make money doing that? Do you believe that's effective to leverage technology to automate things that your people sometimes forget to do? Or more importantly, Shelly, don't have the time to do. Right. I mean, CPAs have been buried in this tax season. Do they have the time to do all the right things and following up on leads for new clients and automations and emails and social posts and SEO writing and blog writing? So these things get ignored for seasons on the CPA world when in fact they need to have somebody focusing on that while they focus on what they do best. So I think digital marketing in general terms is not just one thing. It's all of those things coupled together with the most important thing being belief. I, I love what you said there. And, and thank you for also recognizing the limitations that so many of our members face. You know, I think about we have such a large contingency in our membership of small to medium sized firms or folks that are working for organizations that are that are smaller um, and they don't have the resources to have a full time marketing and communication staff. Yeah. So, you know, they need folks like yourself to help them navigate this ever evolving world. I mean, even when you just think about how much has transformed from a digital marketing perspective over the last five years much less 10, 15 years, it's to your point, hard to even keep track of it all. So I guess my next question would be, if you're one of our practitioners that does work for a smaller size organization and they don't have the bandwidth to have a full-time in-house uh, person or persons helping to lead this, sure. how would you best advise them to get started um, in the digital marketing space? Where should they fo focus their efforts first if they wanna really maximize ROI? Well, so first of all, you got to have a website that actually generates traffic. Right. The problem with that, Shelly, is that in order for a website to generate traffic, it has to have organic search. Or there has to be a budget that the small firm can spend to drive traffic. So small businesses in general are at a disadvantage because the larger people have marketing departments, they have budgets, they can fist fight in the streets for those things. And if you're going to be a small to mid-sized firm that grows to a mid-sized to large firm, at some point, a shift in, like I said, attitude and belief has to take place where it becomes important. It's like when you wake up this morning, how important is breakfast? Right? Pretty important. Lunch, lunch rolls around. How important is lunch? <laughs> you know? right. So how important is it to have a glass of water or anything if you're thirsty? Right. right. Yeah. If you don't see digital marketing as important, you'll never do it. Mm -hmm. But if you understand that it's actually the very thing that you need more than anything in your business for long-term sustainability is a digital mar marketing presence that generates things for you while you're sleeping, mm -hmm. then you don't know what you're missing, right? And you'll always remain small. So my vision for when we started Anthem was, you know, our, I used to, my products used to cost like five, 6,000 bucks a month, Shelly. Like back in the wow. early days for, you know, we work with car dealers and for them to have us manage their website, to do their emails, to do their social media, to do their SEO, to give them CRM software, it used to cost like five, six, 10, 15,000 bucks per rooftop, mm -hmm. you know, when I, it has to be affordable. And so basically we've tried to create a program where it allows people to you know, spend $8 and 62 cents an hour and have all of those things covered. So basically wow. less than the price of a minimum wage employee. Now, how did I do that? Well, you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you have to build your own CRM software. You have to build software that automates the things you used to have to do manually. If you don't leverage automation in technology, you're going to have to pay someone to do it. People aren't cheap. Everyone knows what minimum wage is. You can hire someone overseas, but that doesn't always work. Right. And, so, and then who's going to manage it? Mm -hmm. And that's the, the bigger problem is, it's like, but as a small business, doesn't mean you have to have small thinking, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's why I always go back to the word belief, because you can only grow as a CPA firm as big as you can see yourself ever being. And if you constantly see yourself small, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But then don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Just stay small. If you see yourself as growing 
and you're not having to do all the heavy lifting all the time and you have a business that can help sustain a lifestyle, then you have to do the things that are important to it. And if you don't do those things that I mentioned early on, you cannot be successful on digital marketing. Like give you an example. What's the average CPA is watching us right now? I'd be curious. When you hear me right now, do you know even know how many visitors visited your website last month? Great question. percent of them, Shelly, you're going to say no. Now, do they have sure. access to information? Yes, they probably do. Mm -hmm. They probably have Google Analytics, but they don't look at it. Okay, so now that you look at it, now what does that mean? I have 100 people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how many of them emailed you? How many of them called you? Okay. How many of those people turned into paying customers? Mm -hmm. How many of those people actually were returned a phone call when the form came in? Mm -hmm. And you start to realize that most small businesses are making money despite ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if we actually said to ourselves, you know, this is serious. This is important. I am going to use a lead management software. I am going to use automation so I don't have to do things manually. I am going to make sure my people are saying and doing the right things on the phone when the phone rings. I am going to make sure that I have a process in place for someone to return an email when somebody says I'm looking for a new firm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do those things, no digital marketing is going to save you from that. Sure. Yeah. So I think for me, what I would recommend for them is so always start with a website. Is it professional? Is it clean? Uh, do you have clear calls to actions on your website? Do you have a large 800 number? Do you have forms on every page? You'd be amazed at how many people don't have that, you know, yeah. because if, if, if there's no way for someone to really easily contact you, guess what? They're in no danger of doing, contacting you. Then I would say, okay, now we need content. Who's going to write the blog? All right. Uh, maybe I write 2,500 words a month for my own business. Maybe. My, my wife or my spouse or whoever works with me, my friend writes 2,500. Now we got 5,000 words a month being put on the website. Mm -hmm. Over time, this stuff starts to generate traffic. But mm -hmm. then the problem, Shelly, is, well, who's going to write the social media? Who's going to handle Facebook? Who's going to handle LinkedIn? Who's going to handle Google? Yeah. 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 The next thing you know, you're like, shoot me in the head. I'll just stay <laughs> in my bed. And I, I, think, I think that's kind of the challenge, right, is that, I don't know if it's, there's really only two reasons why I've seen small businesses either succeed or fail on the internet. It's either they don't know what to do or they know what to do and they don't do it. Mm -hmm. it's a good the vast point. majority of those businesses that have failed knew what to do, heard messages like this, mm -hmm. and did nothing about it. Right. And then a year from now, they'll tune in for you and I again. Hey, I'm back with Adam DeGrade on Digital Marketing Secrets. And I'm going to say the same dang thing I said this year, mm -hmm. which is, do you believe, is it important? And here are the six things. Now go do it. <laughs> right. Only this time there'll be three or four more platforms in the mix that we have to be and thinking about to help market more ourselves. Confusing and more of a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. If you're a CPA firm and you're not leveraging automation right now, you're crazy. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about automation from a marketing perspective, Shelly. Yeah. I'm talking about automation from a process perspective. Sure. Because sure. there are steps when dealing with a client, even a difficult client like myself. I own several businesses. I have a, you know, I have a foundation. I have a bunch of things that I that I have in my life. I've been very blessed with. Being my accountant is a very profitable gig. Trust me, I get the bills every year. <laughs> but uh, they still need stuff from me. Instead of them having to type up an email and send it to me, why don't we create checklists that are automated, statuses that are automated? Why don't mm -hmm. we create, you know, if we know that Adam takes a vacation from, you know, this time to this time. Well, let's make sure we automate next year to him this time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of that stuff makes a difference and all that stuff could be automated with software. Oh, most definitely. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very relevant to our profession right now. I mean, you look at what has happened from a, a staffing and a human capital perspective, especially over the last several years and the impact that automation has had in the evolution of that staffing model and we, why not just continue that over to what we're doing from a marketing and communications perspective, because it is, it's everywhere. It's transforming how we do business and, and how we go about attracting new business as well. And I love what you said about the website, because, you know, I know for myself and, and I don't know what the exact stat is, you probably will. I'll be looking for something online and click on someone's website. And you've got about four, maybe five seconds to capture my attention before I have moved on and given up. And it's Crazy. why Amazon is so successful, right? They just make it so easy to do everything. So if I have to go hunting well, our phone you. number or information. They actually listen to you too, Shelly. They know. You got it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, keep going. 
No, 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 you're exactly right. I, I couldn't agree more. Um, okay, so let's talk about, let's just suppose that we've got folks that are now believing and investing in digital marketing that either haven't done it before or have sort of not been practicing what they thought they'd been preaching, if you will. We've talked a little bit about, you know, the attracting new clients and that type of thing, but help them understand how digital marketing can also help to retain their existing client base as well. Oh, what types of resources would you put there? I wouldn't do much different than I would do when attracting a customer. Okay. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So the public square, as we just talked about, has changed. Years ago, the public square is my local church, although in some ways it's still a public square to people, including myself. Mm -hmm. But you would remember the community centers and the community halls, and then they would have, you know, the fairgrounds. And that's where people met businesses. They would go to baseball games and they'd see the signs up and they still do that. Sure. By the way. Yeah. The crazy thing is, though, is no matter where they see you or hear about you, they ultimately, before they decide to work with you, is they go online. And the scary thing is, is I can even recommend a CPA to you. All right. That I trust. And you let's say you and I are friends for 15 years. You know what you're still going to do? You're, you're going to Google them. You're going to Google them. And so yeah. I tell people that having a great digital presence and a consistent one across all these different channels is not only a new business feeder, it's a fortress that protects your business. Mm -hmm. Because if all of a sudden they're not happy with you and they start researching around, but they keep running into you, it gives you that extra chance that maybe I am with the right people and maybe I am need to revisit it, right? It's a great and point. I think that's the secret. What is the secret to most businesses being successful is consistency. And like I said, they're singing that song and playing all those instruments in harmony. And if you're not doing that and they go here and your competitor is here and you're not, you're not, you're on, not, the menu. You're not, you're not on the menu. You're not on the menu. That's exactly right. Well, yeah, that's I, don't, I want everyone to know this. I don't like this, by the way. I don't like the world we live in, but I don't think this is fun. You know, people say, well, you're so good at it. No, I hate it. I do it myself. I can't stand it. The amount of stuff <laughs> that I have to think of, it just drives me nuts. But, it's overwhelming. But it's important. Mm -hmm. And I believe it to be important. Therefore, just like I can't ignore good hygiene and food, I can't ignore this because that is the good hygiene and the food for my business. Well, especially when you think about, I mean, it's not going away, right? Okay. Every single week, another platform comes out, another social media channel, whatever the, the it is, if you will, it's going to be a constant evolution. We're never going to go back to what we were before. Okay. The, the digital marketing infrastructure is here to stay. So if you want to have sustainability, and certainly if you want to evolve and grow, you've got to wrap your arms around it and, and have that belief to your point. Okay. And I heard you mention... Um, CRM earlier and, and, and how managing interactions across multiple platforms, it's, it's very difficult to keep it all straight. I even have a hard time, as you and I both know, like you said, within our own companies, keeping all the different ways that we communicate and message and market to members and prospective members and what have you straight in, in my own mind. So, but for those that may not understand this concept, can you explain what a CRM is, how it's important to drive engagement, and maybe even most importantly, CPAs are, are um, they like making data-based decisions. They like, they like to measure the output of what they have put in. So how can a CRM also help to potentially measure the work and the results of what they have done? Yeah, so a CRM means customer relationship management, and it's designed to be lead management, uh, the way, at least one that we have built for people. Lead management, all your phone calls and forms come into the software. All of your social media is automated through the software. All of your email communication is automated through the software. Your sales pipeline of where people are at in the sales process is in the software. You can click on a button and see the digital health of your, of your firm at a click of a button. So it's really just a tool that helps people manage things and automate the stuff they don't want to do anymore. And that's what a CRM is. There's thousands of them. Sure. Sure from the super simple to the super complex, but at the very least, somebody needs to be doing lead management, automation through social media, automation of email, automation of SEO, automation of tracking all the results from all those things in one place. And then you get a little bit more sophisticated shelling where you start automating things that you do on your day-to-day -day basis in a CRM, which would be like 
reminding you to do something or putting me in this trip campaign, whether it's via text or via email or via reminders to my own internal staff. You can get really creative and really crazy with tools like Anthem and other tools, by the way. Yeah. And the cool thing about that is that if you want a window into what's going on in your business right now, you're wishing and hoping. You don't even know. Imagine if you knew what your digital presence was. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you actually knew how bad your staff was answering the phone. <laughs> Imagine if you actually knew how bad your emails were being handled when people received them. Right. That's what a CRM allows you to do. And that's why it's critical. And Love uh, that. Love that. So anyway, and I know we're running short on time. I hope, I hope, I feel like I'm going long. I'm, if I'm going long, tell me to shut up. No, not at all. In fact, that was going to lead me to kind of a, a closing statement. You could probably educate our members. I would venture a guess for the entire day and totally. probably still have stuff to teach them from the digital marketing perspective. So tell me a little bit more about if members want to get in touch with you or learn more about the Anthem solutions, where do they go and, and how do they do that? Sure. So first of all, I'm everywhere. If you type in Adam DeGrade on the internet, you're going to see me from CEO of this, this article quoted me here, LinkedIn, you're going to find me on my own website. You're all of a sudden, you're going to run into bands. You're going to run into like hard rock, heavy metal bands that I actually produce myself <laughs> in my own band. You're going to also run into an Adam DeGrade that plays a Steinway with a string quartet and has the exact opposite form of music than the rock and roll. So you're going to see the two different spectrums. But for Anthem, it's anthemsoftware.com. Go check it out. It's literally what, who we are, what we do, how we do it. We want to help CPA firms for $8.62 and up. You know, you can have a complete digital marketing system and these bases can be tackled for you and you don't have to think about it again. And so the question is, is it worth a minimum wage employee? I think so. But some people still get to the end chilling and go, I can't afford it. Well, you can't afford a minimum wage employee to do feed yourself breakfast and, you know, have nutrition for your business. We can't really help you. But that's where they would check us out. Reach on me on LinkedIn. And then if you want to get more Adam DeGrade business advice, I do a national podcast every week called David VS Goliath Podcast. So it's David versus Goliath Podcast where the small guy takes on the big guy and wins. And uh, we have a lot of fun on that podcast. And I've actually recently interviewed a few CPAs that are crushing it because they believe and they're making that transition from doing the things they don't want to do to the things they do want to do. And that can be done through technology and software. So thank you for having me. Hopefully yes. you guys learned something, but the Definitely. one word I want you to think of after this is belief. Belief. You believe I what I just told you because nothing truly great or worthwhile starts unless you have the one word belief. And that's I love that. I brain. love that so much, Adam. And I can't wait to listen to your podcast. I'm a big podcast listener. You better go follow it right after this. You're going to love it. I will. I will. And we're going to connect on LinkedIn as well. I'm also very active on LinkedIn and believe strongly in, in what we can do on, on that platform. And first of all, just thank you so much for all that you do for our members across the You're state, welcome. for the profession, for the, the extreme um, expertise and, and knowledge and value that you bring. And we thank you for supporting this profession that we love dearly so much. And I'm starting I'm to love it right. myself too. I'm trying Good. to get these guys and gals fired up, Shelly. I love gonna, it. I love we're it. We're going to put a little, you know, a little, you know, a little fire in the pants. We and, do. And I'll tell you, we need someone like you to help go out and sing our song as well and make sure that we are attracting the next generation of CPAs um, that are coming up from high school. And Let me know how I can help. Let me know how I can help. I'd love to help. I've got all kinds of ideas simmering in my mind. So we'll chat later and I'm looking forward to it. And again, thank you so much. And that word um, believe is going to stay with me. And I, and I couldn't agree more. Believe, be consistent with it and uh, be ready to, to launch and grow your business accordingly. Right. So thank you. Well, thank you again, Adam. And we'll be seeing you soon, team again. Uh, don't hesitate to connect with Adam on LinkedIn, follow his podcast, Anthem Software, very big supporter and partner of ours and, and thought leadership in the digital marketing space. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of CEO Conversations. Until then, be safe and be well. Thanks again.